hey, 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 Facebook and Instagram. I'm doing live, live, live. Hello, hello, hello. I'm excited because today is my first broadcast of It's My Time to Shine. And my name is Dawn Fields, just in case you don't know. And let me tell you what this, who this program is for. This program is for all the moms and all the wives out there who have, you know, given up their life for their family and have put themselves on the back burner for so many years. Who, uh, my, I should have took all these notifications off. <laughs> who have, uh, you know, have put their family first and have put their dreams on hold for so many years. We all do it as moms and as wives. We put our family first. You know, this this program is for people who, you know, you have that burning desire to do something and you just have never done it because you've been, uh, you know, you've been thinking about your family. And maybe now you're in a different situation. Maybe now you're in a situation where your family is uh, older or you're an empty nester. And you just now you just figure out what I'm supposed to do with my life now. Or you just had those dreams that just burned inside of you for years and you've done nothing with it. You always wanted to do something bigger, something grander, something just all out there. But you just never had the courage to really do it before because your mom and your wife, you know, your, your husband need things. Your husband, you go to work and you still got to come and cook dinner for the family. You still have to, uh, you know, just do everything. Make sure your kids get their homework done. If you're anything like me, like I, for years, I, I've been with my husband now for like 26 years. Um, we have a total of four children. I have two children of my own and two bonus children. And we, my whole life, I put my family first, although I had this burning desire to always start my own business. I always had this burning desire to do something different, to live big, to live grand, but I never did because I was so focused on my family needs. Like I was actually the one who made the most money out of my, my at, in the beginning. I mean, it didn't always stay that way, but I was the one who had to support the family for the majority of the marriage. I made the most money. So I had to work. I had to keep a job because bills had to be paid. And I know I'm not the only one who did this. And, you know, the kids start growing up and your whole focus at that point is to make sure that your children is fine or your family is fine. That, you know, your children go through all the activities that they do. So you work all day, you come home, you cook dinner, you have to do homework, get everybody ready. Then you tired. So what time do you have for yourself? You just really don't. You have dreams of going on these big elaborate vacations and, you know, just doing all these things for yourself that never ever materialize. You have dreams of um, just doing stuff that you wanted to do because we all are born with talents. We all have gifts that we're supposed to be sharing with the world. But most of the time we don't get to share with anybody outside our family because we don't think on that level to get out there and do do with something outside of family because you're tired by the time you take care of everybody else you're tired and you can't really take care of yourself so this show is about it's your time to shine this show is about helping you to live those dreams and those passions that you always wanted to live always wanted to dream you always had a burning desire to live those dreams and to live those bad passions but you just never had the opportunity to do it now if you have children that once they start getting older, like about high school, what you start noticing, they start getting a little independent. So you do have a little bit more freedom once they, especially once they get their license, <laughs> then you don't have to ride them around every place that they want to go. And you don't have to pick them up. And at, usually around high school, they start drifting away from you anyway and hanging more with their friends. And then after high school, if they go on to college and they go away to college and then you're an empty nester and it's just you and your husband and you're looking at each other like, okay, now what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> you know, that's where I have been in my stage of life where I had always wanted, I always wanted to own my own business. That's I, I was always interested in internet marketing. Ever since 1995, when I first got on the internet, I started following all of these gurus and, and learning everything I can about marketing and internet marketing and buying courses and participating in conferences and doing all these different things. I was going to start a business. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to do this. And then I had some 
great idea of what I was going to do. And I would share it with my family and they wouldn't really be supportive. They'll be like, well, when you have time to do that? Well, it's going to interfere with what I have to do. <laughs> I have to do this. And so you kind of like, because you don't have that, you don't feel like you have that support. You kind of get a little, you know, like, okay, well, maybe I'm not going to do it because I don't really have time to do this. But um, I'm going to say a little bit of history about myself. When I, um, when I graduated from college, I went on a, only thing I really, only goal I really wanted at the time was to work in New York City. So I did. I went and got a job in New York City. Um, and on my first job, I met this guy and we both had a passion for wanting to promote parties. So we started doing parties. I had a uh, party planning, party promotion company where we gave boat rides and concerts and mail reviews and, and first Fridays and all kinds of events. It was really fun. And then um, he and I was no longer boyfriend and girlfriend, but we still maintained the business together. And then that's when I ended up meeting my husband. And then we got married and kids came right after that. And I just didn't have time for parties. I went because doing parties, you got to hang out at parties. And you know, when you married with kids, you just don't feel like hanging out with parties. But I always wanted to do something else. I always wanted to start a business. But after one kid was born and the next one was born, and then, you know, you have to just kind of put yourself on a burner. So this time is my time to shine. It's your time to shine. We're going to focus on shining. We're going to focus on all the things that we desire in life on this year. We're going to desire focus on our health. We're going to focus on our wealth. We're going to focus on relationships. We're going to focus on everything that would make us happy because it is our time to shine. Is it your time to shine? <laughs> Let me tell you, I would, I'm very interested in hearing your comments. I want to know, this is going to be like interactive. We're going to just have some fun. I'm going to come on here every day and I'm going to share some information with you that might be helpful for you. If you have information that you want to share, share it with me, comment, put it in my, hit me up in my inbox. If you want to come and be on the show with me and share your story, I would love to have you as a guest. Um, this is the first show. So we're probably not going to be here long. I just want to come out and introduce myself, introduce you what the concept of the show is. I see Jada Pinkett had her show, The Red Table. I figured, hey, if Jada can sit here with her mom and her daughter, I can sit here with you moms and wives and just have some fun and we just kick it and just share some information that might help other moms and help other wives where we can stop. Because you can still take care of your family and take care of yourself at the same time. And that's what this is going to be about. It's about your time to shine. And we're going to really be focusing on living big, doing the things that we want to do, starting businesses. That's the main thing I want to kind of focus on. People who have always had the desire to start their own business. Because you know what happens? Eventually, the children are going to grow up. I don't know what stage you might be in your life, but eventually... The kids are going to go out on their own because that's what we're raising them to do. We're raising them to be productive citizens in society. We're, protect, we're raising them to go out on their own and, and be able to live by themselves. And then after we do that, we haven't raised ourselves to do that. We're not we're not doing that at all. We're just playing it small. And it's time to stop playing it small. You could be a mom. You could be a wife. And you can still live that fabulous life, still get all the things that you desire, and still do the things that you desire. I'm going to give you just a couple of tips today on things that you can do to actually help you where you start, uh, you know, start taking back your time, start shining. The first thing I want to talk to you about today is if you want to start sh shining, you have to take time for yourself. I don't care if it's just five minutes every day. You have to take time for yourself. I know it was days where I never took time for myself. I, I got up in the morning. I worked on a job that I hated. So that wasn't my time. I was working for other people just so I can make money. I need the money to pay bills. And then I would rush home, pick the kids from school, uh, from day care, after school care. Then I would run home, cook dinner, feed the kids, feed the husband, clean up, do homework, help the kids with homework, get them showered and bathed and put them in the bed. Then we relax for a very short time and had to spend time with the husband, you know? Um, so it was, just really no time to get up and do the whole thing all over again. So there was no time for me. I didn't spend any time for myself. But I'm just telling you, take time every single day for yourself. I don't even care if it's just a bubble bath or something where you just relaxing and just maybe watching your favorite television show or just, uh, you know, drinking a glass of wine or just relaxing to some capacity. This is something you should do every single day because you have to have time for yourself. It's your time to shine. You got to do something for yourself every single day. 
The second thing I, that I would suggest that you do every day is that you meditate. Meditate is very important because when you start meditating, you can that's when you take time to focus and visualize the things that you want out of life. And when you start focusing and visualize on the things that you want out of life, that's when you can start, those things start manifesting in your life. You have to see your vision first before it happens. I was listening to this um, interview, I think it was yesterday. Um, this woman, I can't remember her name, Hazel, I forgot the last name, but she has a book out on um, Amazon. I'm, I'm not... I mean, I, I haven't read the book, so I can't really promote it, but I'm going to just say the name. I thought the name was cool. It was from, from Cancel Checks to Private Jets. Um, I don't know what the book is about. I just heard about it yesterday for the first time. But her story was very interesting to me. She grew up in a, you know, she grew up on welfare in a bad neighborhood. Uh, her mom was divorced like five times. Her mom actually killed somebody. She lost her best friend by with a, by drive by shoot. Now, she had a really rough life. But at some point she um she ended up she ended up, I think having five different kids, but she two of them was her brothers and sisters that she raised. But anyway, she found somebody, a mentor who was a boss actually, who kind of start um challenging her to do certain things. And 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 one of the things that she started realizing she had to do was visualize herself doing certain things. And she was at a uh, she had a teacher, I think, once who asked where would she be in five years. She couldn't even think about where she'd be in five years. But then when the teacher really wouldn't st stop her from doing it, like she made her do this activity. And she actually came up with things that she wanted to do for five years. And she just started focusing on it. And um, she said in less than two years, she had everything that she was, that she meditated on. She, she was making like $15 an hour at the time. And then her dream was to make a hundred thousand dollars a month in two years. She was able to accomplish that. Um, uh, she wanted a house and certain things. She wanted a car. She had to visualize herself seeing it. She said she visualized herself every stage of her life up until in her mind, until she's 95, she's already laid it out. And that's what meditation do is when you start focusing on the things that you want and you can actually see the vision, that's how it starts to come into uh, that's how it starts to manifest. So take time every day to meditate. Think about what it is that you want and just visualize yourself doing it and really get uh, wrapped up in the vision. Feel it for sure. Feel it like it's really happening. Really vividly imagine it and just meditate on it every day. The creator gave us all talents and abilities and we're supposed to share these talents and help people in some form or fashion to actually you know, live that vision, live that dream. I mean, you know, take that talents and help other people. Take our talents and share it with other people to help them. And that's what I want to kind of do here. I want to take my talents and I want to share it with other moms, and other wives and show them that it's your time to shine. I want to show you exactly what it is that you can do every single day to live this dream and, and start taking more power back for yourself. Start doing the things that you desire to do. Start doing the things. I mean, you can still take care of your family because you have to take care of your family. Your family's going to always be your family. You're not going to neglect them, but don't neglect yourself in the process. So I don't didn't want to come in here and stay on very long today. I just want to kind of give an intro of what it is that this show is doing. Please share it with people if you think it might be valuable for you. Please, I'm going to be coming on every morning at 11 a.m., not going to be too long. Just give me a little bit of inspiration and, and help, helpful hips to help you start living that life of your dream. Okay. Now, before I go, I'm going to tell you, we have a sponsor of the show. The show is sponsored every day by someone. And today's sponsor is a company called Tava. And this right here is the Basia Detox Tea. This is a sponsor show. Let me tell you a little bit about this tea. <laughs> this tea is phenomenal because we are going to be focused on our health. Health is very important. What this tea does, it de detoxes you from all the toxins that's in your body. We all have toxins in our body, every single one of us. We get toxins from the air we breathe. We get toxins from the food we eat, definitely. The food we eat has horrible chemicals in it. It's really not designed. A lot of the chemicals aren't even designed for consumption. <laughs> but in America, other countries won't even allow the stuff that's in our food, into their food that they say that they sell to the people in their countries. We're supposed to be the biggest and the best country, but we have the worst. Uh, we have the worst regulations when it comes to the food, the stuff that's in our food. So we have chemicals that's in our food that our body can't digest. So what the body does is it turns this stuff into fat. It turns it into um, toxins. It turns into diseases. And we have to clean our body out from it. So this right here, I found that this thing works really great. You just take this. 
You add it to 16 ounces of water, shake it up, drink it. That's it. Start cleaning out your system immediately. If you are interested in getting this uh, Vasia Detox Tea, let me tell you how it comes. You can get a five-day supply for $25. You can get a 10-day supply for $40. Or you can get a 30-day supply for $70. That's how it comes. You really probably only need it for 10 days or 14 days. Uh, and then you'll really start seeing results. We just had a 10-day challenge using this. And one of the women lost 15 pounds in 10 days. Uh, most on the average people lost between seven and nine pounds in those 10 days. So you could basically lose a pound a day or more using this for CRT. And it, that's just a benefit. That's a side benefit of cleaning your system out. So that's our sponsor for the day, Vasia Detox Tea. My name is Dawn Fields. This is It's Time to Shine because it is definitely your time to shine. So tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m., and remember, if you're interested in participating in the show, want to be a, 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 whole, a guest on the show, just inbox me and tell me your story. And we'll see if it's uh, something that we would like to share with the audience, okay? Have a blessed day. It's your time to shine. Remember, today I want you to shine. Have a great one.